Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Annika. Um, and you might be looking at the title of this video like, whoa, what the heck? This video kind of has two parts, a little bit of a story and then talking to you about something. And then a second part, which I'll get into. Um, I've kept really quiet about the subject, mostly for personal reasons, because it was something so personal and something really like pretty traumatic to go through not to be dramatic but to be very clear this video um, is not to seek attention this is something I've waited months and months and months to talk about I thought maybe I never would I've let it die down and that's exactly why I'm bringing it up now because I'm strong enough to talk about it and I don't think it's as like hot news to talk about anymore because I really didn't want to turn something so traumatic for me into a publicity scandal, into giving it more attention than it needs to be. And this is not to bring attention to those photos. I know a lot of you watching us would say, well, this is dumb of you to do because now people are gonna look for those photos. You know what? So many people have seen them already. And if you wanna be gross enough to go look at something so private to me, I can't stop you, but I have a right to talk about something that has upset me. And I have a right to share my view on it and my story and to help anyone else going through something similar or to give other people a perspective on something so awful. Basically, um, over a year ago, I got my Snapchat hacked into, which I wasn't really aware of. And my personal photos that I would send to friends or my boyfriend at the time or whatever, um, those were taken. And I didn't really know until I got a text that threatened me, said like, give me your password within however long, um, or so I'm gonna release these. So I called the police um, and there was a police investigation, but they, figured, they um, found out that the person who did it was outside of Canada, which means that outside of Canada, the police can't really do anything, which is really unfortunate. At this time, I knew the person had the photos, Nothing ever really came from it. Um, I would get sent at once in a while a couple um, links that were had me on it, but it never really went public. So I thought my life for a while was ruined and doomed. Um, I thought no one would ever take me seriously. I can, like I called myself in my head a slut, um, which was pretty an awful thing to tell yourself. Um, I told myself that it was my fault, that I shouldn't even have these photos, that I should have known someone were to hack it. And yeah, it was just a really hard time for me, but it passed because nothing really ever came from it. So that was well over a year ago, almost two. A week after I went through a breakup, the photos went totally public. <laughs> it was tough. I got a lot of texts from people saying, hey, just so you know, I don't know if you know already, but I'm like, obviously. <laughs> It was, number one, embarrassing at first, and then became shameful and weird, and I felt so incredibly violated. And I feel like a lot of people don't talk about this because it's so embarrassing and they don't wanna bring more, I guess, news or um, attention to the subject, but it has happened to so many people because of this digital age and because it's so easy now for hackers to get into iCloud, Snapchats, camera rolls. It has happened to so many people on a small scale, large scale. So someone who only 20 people see it, me who like a couple thousand, and then there's celebrities who millions of people see it. And it is no more or less hurtful, depending on how many people see it. It still sucks. It is your consent, it is your body. And if you don't want someone seeing that, it, it doesn't matter who or how many people see it. It's still such a violation and so disgusting. And it's the worst feeling in the world. My heart dropped to my toes when I knew that like kind of everyone I knew had seen it. I just kind of assumed no one would take me seriously. I assumed I would never get a job. No boy would ever want to be with me because, you know, who wants a girlfriend with her naked photos online. Um, and these thoughts were really, really hard on anyone. And I also have a lot of self-esteem issues in general and a lot of mental health issues. Um, so this kind of really just made me feel like I didn't really have a purpose to be alive. It was really, really hard. 
and I kept really quiet about it. You know, I, I wanted to speak out about it. I got um, asked by people if I wanted a big news media outlet to cover it because my ex-boyfriend was a Toronto public figure. So, but I just, I decided I wasn't ready or strong enough to talk about it. Um, because it was just so hurtful to me. A lot of the response was very kind and, you know, empathetic. I'm so sorry this happened to you. It must be awful. I'm here for you. Um, people are gross. But then, you know, you get a lot of the gross men online being just treating you like an absolute piece of meat. And you felt like going from a woman with respect and just because of her own body, now she has no respect. Um, I just think the most disgusting thing is turning a woman's body against her. And we're so scared of women's bodies. We're so scared of boobs. We're so scared um, as a society and we think it's so shameful and you're a slut, you're a whore, you are you don't have self-respect. If people have seen a woman naked, they can no longer take her seriously as a human being, which is so backwards. And I think as society, we need to move away from that because it's incredibly dangerous for those who have consent to have their bodies shown and for those like me who it was a sex crime and I don't I, I never had consent over thousands of people seeing my own body like what's mine being taken away from me was so hard and if any of you have ever gone through that I'm so sorry I wouldn't wish it upon my worst enemy I'm so sorry you are not alone and it will get better I realized that any boy who thought that it was embarrassing about these photos is a piece of shit because it's something I cannot control and he's not the one for me. And I found a guy who doesn't care and you know what, laughs it off and is like, you know what, that's horrible that happened to you. It doesn't change who you, are, who you are as a person. You know, if you're not gonna get a certain job because of something you cannot control, that could be a possibility. Fuck that company, but you will find a job. It is not going to ruin your life. People will get over it. People love the drama. And I got so many genuine texts and I got so many texts from people who, you know, they just want to be a part of the drama. People take little pleasures in seeing other people put down. But yeah, I just kind of needed to heal on my own away from social media. And a lot of people were wondering why I didn't address it. Um, yeah, I just didn't want to bring a lot of attention to it. But now I th thought it through and it's just, you know, I'm sure this has happened to at least one of you out there or someone you know. You need to let yourself know or the friend this happened to. It's a big deal because it's a crime and it's so violating and disgusting and the worst feeling, but it's not a big deal in the sense that it's going to ruin your life. It is just a body. I don't care what society tells you otherwise. It's just your body. Bodies are beautiful and they should be shown however you see fit. And the only problem with this is that you didn't choose and I didn't choose to have these photos spread. And that's just so awful, but it's something I can't control. And for the longest time I was in major depression, but I came to terms that I can't change what I can't control. And you know what? good things have come from it which is the other half of this video some of you may think that you know i shouldn't manipulate the situation into something beneficial but you know what fuck it my privacy was taken away from me and i was in such a bad place for so long i deserve to make something positive out of it and at the end of the day i'm thankful for it i learned a lot from it i, le I learned a lot about my self-worth and about human beings in general and how we empathize with other people. It actually inspired the jewelry company I started. So for the person who hacked me, if you're out there, fuck you, but also jokes on you because it inspired my booby necklace. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know I just launched my jewelry company, which is something I've been working on for a year. A lot of you have asked if it's my company or if it's in collaboration with someone. It's not, it's fully my company. I started it from the ground up. I have a partner who, um, helped me with the building blocks and who does the financial side of everything. But I am the sole director, it is my company. I've wanted to start a jewelry line for a while, like a couple of years at least, um, but I didn't really have a lot of inspiration and this like sparked it. It's just for me, it's about pride in myself and it reminds me about how beautiful the female body is and to be proud of it rather than scared of it. But it's like a way of like standing up for myself. Yeah, um, I'm on the internet for the world to see. You know what? It's like wearing it proud. Because if you're not embarrassed about it, it's hard for like other people to give you a hard time about it. And it's, it just, it means a lot to me. It shows a lot of strength. And this necklace doesn't really mean boobs and be provocative. It's giving women strength to do whatever they consent to. It's like a symbol of if I don't want to show them at all, if I want to completely show them, it's literally whatever. It doesn't have to do with just bodies. It's just 
being strong and feeling free and empowered as a woman in general. Today I wanted to go through all the pieces that I have and talk about them and show them to you guys and I'm really excited. I can't believe I can finally do this. It's been like a year in the process of me creating it and trying to make it perfect for you guys so it's really surreal to me i've put a lot of blood sweat and tears and a lot of personal finances into it so it was a huge risk but i'm trying to stay positive and hope that i can continue to grow it and it's been good just you know staying positive so first i just want to tell you a little bit about the company it is all fine jewelry so i wanted to kind of step away from the jewelry that breaks really easily and turns your skin green. I've been a jewelry addict for a while and I definitely always like invest in my pieces and prefer pieces that like last longer. The materials I work with are sterling silver and 14 karat gold. It's all ethically handmade in Toronto, Canada where I live by a family run jeweler. They're amazing. I'm very lucky to work with them. I do outsource a few pieces from the United States and Italy just because my jewelry doesn't have access to those components but it's ethically made and the most important part to me is that it's a charitable company so five dollars US from every single piece purchase is donated directly to two charities um, depending on which piece you buy. The two charities are mental health and animal welfare. If you go to my website landiacollection.com and hit charities it gives you like a full rundown of these charities but it's cam h for the mental health one it's a hospital non-for-profit hospital and they also do worldwide initiatives and research and then the animal welfare institute and they do marine life pets farm animals lots of different things so it's really important to me so i'm really hoping to just raise a lot of money and give back to two causes that are extremely near and dear to my heart and i always feel good when i am like indulging in something for myself i know that it's like giving back to something. So that was really important for me to have that charitable aspect in the company. So yeah, everything is online on our website. You can buy it all there. We ship internationally. It's free shipping over $250 US. And there's also flat rates if you have to pay for shipping. First off, the one I was telling you about is my booby necklace. It's my favorite. It's called the Freedom Necklace. Freedom, freedom, freedom get it it's probably my favorite in the collection and a lot of my friends got it from me which was really sweet this is 14 karat solid white gold it has this chain it's 16 inches long so it sits like really perfectly on your chest it's perfect for layering as you can see this also is available in sterling silver the solid white gold is going to last you forever 14 karat gold is very very durable it's not going to oxidize it's not going to get worse with water or sweat or anything like that it's the most durable option but we do have it in sterling silver for a little more affordable it also comes in yellow gold as opposed to white gold so this is the um, solid 14 karat yellow gold and it's the exact same length everything like that but just a gold option if you're into gold jewelry some girls are silver some girls are gold and this also comes in 14 karat yellow gold plated sterling silver for also a more affordable option once again similar thing the plated option obviously the best quality can possibly be everything is really amazing quality but plated gold just inevitably does wear away over time if you don't take care of it properly whereas the solid gold is going to last you a long time so it kind of depends on how much you want to invest into it but you know you get what you pay for for sure next is the rope choker this one goes amazing with any jewelry it doesn't come in gold yet this is sterling silver and i'm it's nice and thick so you can see it from afar but it's still dainty so you can wear it every day and it's the exact same chain as the viking necklace but as you can see this one's just longer but they are the same width and everything so they go perfectly together it kind of looks like a double loop and even just these two together looks amazing as well the viking necklace is also one of my favorites it's a little sword the freedom necklace and the viking necklace were the first two designs i ever created with my jeweler so they have like a special place in my heart they're kind of the ogs this is also sterling silver as well the chain and the pendant then the viking necklace also comes in the yellow gold same deal I love wearing this one with the um, gold boobs. It layers so nicely. The perfect length ever. If you're wearing like a booby top, it just sits perfectly. I also love it with like strapless tops like this as well. It's just such a nice long length and so good for layering everything. And I like how it's kind of gothic. I've been asked multiple times on YouTube and Instagram where this is from. And I couldn't answer because it was all like a secret. But now you know. 
it's from me the next is one very important to me that has a cause as well i knew i had to do something with mental health and semicolons if you're not familiar with the semicolon movement it's um suicide awareness you can google it for more information there's tons of stuff on it but it was my first tattoo ever it's really important to me the semicolon's kind of a wide known mental health sign um so i thought it'd be really pretty to put into like a edgy dog tag this chain it's a curb chain and it is sterling silver also really good for layering it it sits here so it's shorter than the sword it's 20 inches long the sword's 22 oh sorry and the choker 16 so yeah this is sterling silver as well the actual pendant it's a semicolon it's just punched out of the silver plate here and if you're wondering why it looks um duller then the chain is because we sandblasted it. So after the design's made, a machine hits it with sand really quickly and it gives it this cool like texture, it almost looks sparkly. We did that because it looks more rustic and it will also show way less imperfection. So if you scruff it up a little bit, it won't look bad as opposed to like a big surface layer of something shiny, if that makes sense. It also comes in the 14 karat yellow gold. This is all sterling silver and then dipped in 14 karat yellow gold. You have both options. I really mix it up. Some days I'm gold, some days I'm silver. Some days I wear both. So this is the drop necklace. It is literally just looking at it makes me happy. It is so freaking pretty. So this is solid 14 karat yellow gold, the chain and the pendant, and then this is clear cubic zirconia. So this is not gonna wear away or anything. Once in a while you might need to polish the jewel there just to keep it shiny. Such a beautiful length. It also matches perfectly with the earrings I'm wearing. So I'll go into earrings now. Up to now everything has been sterling silver, sterling silver with gold plated or solid gold. These are something called gold filled. So gold plated is when you take a material and you dip it in gold. Gold filled is when there is a metal and you fuse a thicker layer of gold onto it. So it's a much thicker layer than gold plated, if that makes sense. So the content of the gold is much higher. It's also 14 carats. All our gold is 14 carats. Um, the base is brass, but why we use gold filled and why it's a bit more expensive is because we wanted more gold because for those of you who have really sensitive ears and want to wear this every day and you don't want your ears to turn green, all that stuff, these are a really good option because 14 karat gold is really good for sensitive ears. It's not gonna irritate them. So that's why we use gold filled. And then these little guys, this is sterling silver gold plated because it's not, it's not touching your ears. So it doesn't need to be gold filled and it's clear cubic zirconia again. These are amazing. The clasp is super easy to take on and off. It's just like this little guy and they're tight too. So they're not gonna fall off and snap off easily. And then the second pair of earrings that I made are these little guys these are completely solid gold so this is like the best option for people with sensitive ears i put it in my second hole but they also work really well if you just have one piercing or want to wear them as your main piercing hole it's clear cubic zirconia again with solid gold chain and the solid gold backing and rod and everything is solid and i just love the design because the chain goes from the front and connects to the back so i think that detail is just really cool they're called the chain earrings if you want to get this, you kind of get like two pieces in one because one day you can be like, ooh, I want to wear it like this. And then one day you're like, I'm feeling simple. Maybe you have like, I don't know, you're going to a job or something and you can just actually slide off the pendant carefully and have yourself just a simple gold hoop. These are called the Royal Hoops and they are beautiful. So the same situation as the drop hoops that I explained gold filled and then this little dangly part is gold plated sterling silver these are literally the perfect size they're super easy to get on and off i know these never-ending hoops sometimes they like are really hard to put on and they fall out easily because like this rod isn't long enough and slips out these are definitely long enough so they're not gonna slip out on you and they're really easy to put on and off if that makes sense i wear these all the time when i go out for dinner literally just doing nothing i love the look of big hoops i feel like i just look automatically so much better so much prettier put together everything i feel like my body's like decorated i love it the hoop is hollow which means it's a lot lighter it's not gonna like weigh down your ears they're comfortable they're amazing and i think they're the prettiest things ever they have this nice pattern it's on the back as well that's my hair up so you can see which film are you filming the video yeah Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Those are all the designs that we launched with. I would have loved to launch with a million, but 
Working with gold and silver is really, really expensive, but I definitely thought it was vital to have a quality product that is gonna last you guys and be really good quality and valuable as opposed to just, you know, a dinky little piece of jewelry that's gonna break and turn your skin green. <laughs> I know it's definitely an investment, but the idea is that you don't have to buy a million of the same necklace because it keeps breaking. The idea is that you'll have good quality jewelry. I want you guys to feel good about where your jewelry is coming from. I just want people to understand that it's very expensive working in Toronto with a handmade jeweler and ethically sourced products. And I wish I could make the prices like $10, but I just can't because of how expensive it is for me to make it, but it's totally worth it to me because I feel in my heart I'm so genuinely proud of the product that I've made for you guys and the pieces and I think they're so pretty and the quality of them is just really awesome. For those of you who have placed orders, it literally like I almost cried my first order. It was so unreal to me and it means so much to me and the fact that some money from the order is going to charity is just very it's just very surreal to me. I mean, when you've been working on something for so long and then it finally comes to life, it's very uh, rewarding. And to uh, you know, my friends and followers who have been so supportive and just there for me, really, really cool. Women supporting women, it's always a beautiful thing to see. Honestly, I'm really proud of myself and that's not something I say enough. And I encourage you guys to say that you're proud of yourselves more because it's like a, it's a good feeling. So it's very rewarding. Yeah, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> no, no, no. To stay updated, you can follow the Instagram and also check out the website. Look through it. You can read about the charities, everything. DM me, let me know how you like it. Send me photos, Landia will post you. Yeah, it's just really exciting and it's very cool to see you wonderful people wearing something that I worked so hard on. Like, it's just very touching. Thank you so much for not only listening to my story, about what I went through recently and hopefully maybe it made you think of situations like that in a different way or maybe it helped you or a friend and also thank you so much for listening about my company it's really 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 cool and surreal to me and I love you guys so much I truly wouldn't have the confidence to put myself out there and work hard on this if it weren't for your guys support thank you for placing an order if you do that's amazing you're the best I hope you love it please once again let me know how you like it I always want to improve the brand and if you have any questions you can DM Landia, DM me, email Landia. Thank you guys so, so, so much from the bottom of my heart. You are the best and I will see you in my next video.